Moody's warning of a potential downgrade of Bank Group Wells Fargo Inc. of America paired with weak economic data. Big bank stocks. Our next guest says I'm to invest. Here to defend what he says is a buying opportunity is Yudi Chang, Chief Investment Officer at Ace Investment Strategies. All right, Yudi. Uh, it seems like a lot of other investors out there, just in general, I want to get to banks in a little bit, but in general, they saw last week's big sell-off, 480 points in four days, as a buying opportunity because they're coming into the market today. Do you agree with that strategy? Yeah, I actually do. If you think about it, the market made a bottom back in March of 2009, right? So it's been about 26 months now. The S&P is up about 93%. But within a 26 month, we actually have had 11 pullbacks. That's 4% or more. So this little bit of pullback that we see in the market is nothing all of ordinary. Every single dip in this market, in my opinion right now, should be treated as buying opportunity. On the contrary, every single rally into this market I think investors should use it as opportunities to take some profit off the table just because we're under such uncertainty. You know, we may, talking about that uncertainty, Yudi, last week, first time we really heard about double dip recession, first time in a long time. We got the jobs report on Friday. It was absolutely awful. The economic data has been terrible. Don't you think there's more uh, investor sentiment to the downside now, though, than we've seen maybe even since March of 2009? Yeah, but Chris, think about all this thing. Nothing is really new out there. We're talking about a slowing uh, economy, slowing housing market, uh, a jobless recovery. We're talking about possibly ending of QE2. Uh, the ending of QE2, we're talking about some geopolitical concerns, the European debt crisis. So all these problems... We already know, not to say that the, the future is bright. However, a lot of uncertainties has already been factored into the market. That's why I think there's two forces here, pulling and tugging and pushing, resulting in this market going up and down, but still maintaining an upward bias because of the so-called risk trade. There's just no other place you could get yield. So investors still will come back to this market on dips. All right, Yudi, why do you like banks? And I want to get into specifics here in a little bit. Moody's. Uh, warns of a downgrade. You have big hedge fund investors like John Paulson selling off pieces, big pieces. Which banks do you like and why do you like them? Well, I like the banks for a couple reasons. First of all, I think under this kind of economy and uncertainties, you have to buy low, sell high. You can't chase after momentum. Whoever chased after Google or Apple six months ago, look what they're doing now. You have to buy it after they get beaten down. And that's what the banks has. Also, there's such a thing as so-called tangible uh, assets, especially their book value on the tangible assets. We're talking about on the cash, inventories, buildings, land the banks own. Right now, believe it or not, the banks actually are undervalued according to their so-called book value mm -hmm. on tangible assets. Whenever the bank gets to a situation like that, usually, historically speaking, is a buy. Right now, if you look at a couple big banks, I think they're in that situation right now. So you like Citi and Bank of America, specifically investors should kind of take a look at those two. I think so. City pretty much uh, looking at its so-called tangible book value is about 17% undervalued. Bank of America is about 15% undervalued. So I think on a slightly intermediate term basis, mm -hmm. buying them at this level is probably not a bad idea. Yudi, beautiful as always. Thank you, sir. Yudi Chang with some investment ideas on banks. Lori? All right, so we got an update.